I'm sure you're wondering, I've been using Fitbit all my life. Like, how is it that it's incorrect data that I'm getting from this watch that I got for dollars? Okay, um, so basically from the research that I did, I'm just gonna read the, the data that I got from there. So Yang and her colleagues in 2015, they basically said that they found that there was differences in users' expectations, physical characteristics, type of activities and lifestyle that led them to have a different perception of the accuracy of their devices. With an absence of sound mental models, and unclear understanding of the concept of accuracy and experimental controls, user design faulty tests and came to incorrect conclusions. So do you see what I'm saying? So I don't think that you should actually spend your money on that, except like if you run, I guess like if you run, it would be a perfect tool, but you can obviously use apps on your phone. So if you can't afford it, don't bother.